Hey, what up, my tubers? Genji back for another cube draft here on Arena Best of One. Let's just jump right in. I think I'm gonna maybe just take like this Elspeth Conquers Death, pick one, pack one. We've done enough of the Thassa nonsense, um, so I'm just gonna take some powerful white card here. Great effect, great ability. Um, hard to beat that. This pack doesn't really speak to me anyways. So let's just go ahead and take it and run with it into a primal command maybe i do like a good primal command brazen borrower do a little rampy with the incubation druid had i taken thass i could take like the mold drifter here now um no let's just follow up with another good green card and just take this primal command here i think that makes sense another super strong effect that i like Mindstone versus the Midnight Clock. Yeah, I like Midnight Clock a little bit too much. <laughs> so many fun games won with this card just by either resuff uh, reshuffling all your cards back after you've drawn a lot of your deck or just, you know, finding a new grip later on. Um, I think that's fine over Mindstone. I don't need to do any, any uh, colorless shenanigans for now. I mean, colorless is safer, of course, but... You can't really beat the clock. In the end, the clock always wins. Okay, well, I'll take the heart now to follow up the clock since I just passed the Mind Stone. Uh, passing four good blue lands. And we all know my affinity towards blue. Commit to Memory is a solid one as well. But yeah, let's take the uh, rock here. A little bit of ramp nonsense. Sadly, don't have my Discover the Formula. <laughs> or my, uh, what are the other ones? Key to the, uh, actually, what is that card called? Key of the Ages? I don't even know what that card is called anymore. Today is actually, uh, as a, yeah, uh, the day of recording this anyways. I just finished the, uh, the day two of the Arena Open and, oh man, I went uh spoilers if you didn't watch yesterday's video i went five and two but i completely punted at least one of the losses so could have made easy monies there but uh still made 25k gems obviously a thousand dollars maybe a little bit better but that's what i get for uh not practicing with a deck beforehand because there were some uh, interesting lines for sure especially when i was playing a control deck but um when we figured out uh, the event was going to be Alchemy, and I saw that a bunch of decks were playing, you know, Discover the Formulas and Key. I can't remember the, na the name of the key now, but um, I knew that was one of the decks that I wanted to play because it's just so so much like the uh, the decks that I wanted to draft in this cube as we take a Search for Escanta there. Chromatic Orrery, huh? I like that card, but... I think it's worse in this cube than it has been in the past. I almost want to just take the control element and take the neutralize here. It's fun, but uh, man, seven mana is a lot. I mean, I play a lot of expensive spells in this format, of course, but I'm going to give it a shot just because it's, it's so useful if I'm going to end up in five color, but it's really, really, really slow. Uh, Femrate fl Flicker deck. I've also liked Blast Zone quite a bit in these style of decks. Gives you a good out to a lot of random permanents. Um, removal is key when you're doing this style. The uh, the slower, maybe multicolor control decks. You really need that early interaction because if you don't have that, and I'm sure you've seen it before in my videos, you can just get run over by a couple of early creatures, you know? This is another card that I'm not sure how to feel about um, in this format. I haven't played with it too much. I'm going to try taking it here. But uh, I haven't especially preferred the Cosmos Elixir. This is the, the Alchemy version. The I think this is upgraded, right? Uh, the difference here being that you get to also scry, I believe, in addition to gaining two. Uh, beforehand... The draw card ability was the same, but it was only gaining two life and not scrying, so slightly improved upon. 
as we get a what cliff top retreat here perhaps ah this is the lithform engine is a card i really want to play always like it's super fun it's just so slow so good but so slow i almost accidentally took it <laughs> uh, okay some more red white lands on the wheel these aren't particularly good but Knowing me, I will end up taking something like Magma Opus or whatever. This is a fine start. Not too shabby. Um, hmm. Yeah, so remember, these alchemy cards are specific to online. So these are things that aren't... Uh, Available in paper. Let's fight with fire or deem worthy. Both of those are really good. I like fight with fire when I already have a chromatic orrery and some other ways to make some fast mana. Shouldn't be too hard to get to nine mana with this deck, assuming I don't die before then. Okay, wield the commit too. Let's take that over drowned or surveyor. Some more interaction. Nice. Some blue lands always good. These uh, lands are going to be a little bit awkward. That's a very late Raven Inspector. I think these are worse than a lot of the other lands that you can pick up in the format, just because oftentimes you're not going to have uh, the required land type, but we can make do, I'm sure. Okay, pretty solid pack one. Pack two, a few good options. I think we all know what I'm going to take here, just the Chandra. I've said it plenty of times, you know by now. I just think this is one of the best cards you can get versus both aggro and control. Um, Solemn Simulacrum would be my secondary choice here, then maybe into the Royal. But yeah, not going to pass Chandra. If you haven't heard of me, oh, she even had some text with her. Ooh, some more cards that I really, really like here. This pack is nice. Oh, Treasure Map, Maze Mind Tome, Oracle of Moldaya, Memory Deluge. Hmm. What is better here? I think the map is a little bit better. Just because it fixes your draws, it also ramps and fixes when you transform it. So even though the Tome gives you life later on and is a huge card advantage engine, I think the map is a little bit here preferred for me. And we probably need to start taking some more lands, huh? Faceless Agent could be okay. Oh, I don't have any other creatures, do I? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, we don't really care for Torch of Defiance. Hard Evidence would be good. But this might just be in death at Triome. It adds green, white, and black currently. I need more blue lands, though. Could just be I'm supposed to take, like, Lightning Strike and then wield a Hard Evidence. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to... No, I'm going to take the Triumph. We should wield the, the hard evidence, but I guess the lands are important here. Golos. Okay, we can do some Golos nonsense for sure. Passing an Ornithopter of Paradise, a Stomping Ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like a good Golos deck. Easy Abrade here for me. Another fantastic card, just... Good versus the majority of decks. Either they're going to have an artifact or they're going to be playing some creatures, right? Too versatile not to take. Into a... Oof. Augur of Bolas, maybe? I only have five instants and sorceries right now. But the Haunted Ridge doesn't do much. Yeah, I guess we're taking the Augur. Mm. I mean... By the looks of things, we're actually kind of just a red-blue deck right now, aren't we? Elspeth Conquers Death and Primal Command. Were those my first two choices in the draft? They were, weren't they? They were my first two picks in the draft, and it looks like we could just go straight up red-blue here as we get into Hieroglyphic uh, Illumination. No, well, maybe that's going to be the case. I do like red-blue. If I'm going to play a two-color deck, I think red-blue is my preferred strat. Um, That's kind of sad, though. 
but it might be in the end correct. Which means the Golos is probably a lot worse here. Delver of Secrets? Crash through? No. I think Wildest Dreams is really good. At least the ability is really good. It's just kind of hard to make work. But I, I don't think we're taking a spring to mind, are we? I guess we could. Eh, maybe that's the most likely card we're going to end up running. This is a messy draft. Hmm. Messy, 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 messy. Into the Royal on the wheel is nice. There goes a Karuga. Uh, stowaway on the wheel, I guess, is okay over Temple of Deceit. Sure, why not? Late Visionary 2. Yeah, I mean, the more I look at it, the more it looks like we're just going to go some kind of red-blue nonsense. Nice to get the hard evidence on the wheel. In fact, I don't get any of these lands, do I? Maybe just the Blast Zone here? <laughs> Yeah, this is fine. We can probably still splash, like, Elspeth Conquers Death or something. Especially given I only have, what, three total red cards anyways. Stomping ground on the wheel over Inscription of Abundance. How good is a red-green land here? It actually might be played. In the end, who knows? Maybe Golos is going to still make the deck. But it feels like pack 3 is going to need to give me some goodies. Uh, Rogran Triome. Supreme Will. I need playables right now, so I think I just have to take the Supreme Will over potential duel slash tri land. Yeah, it seems right. I also still need like a good win con. Intervention, Torolf's Disciple, Dorat the Perfect Pet, Scorching Dragonfire. There's a Wilderness Reclamation too, and we all know I like that one as well. Uh, I mean, maybe we can do something like this instead, huh? Get a little, get a little frisky. Little teamer action going on here. Take the Wilderness Reclamation. I have six instants right now. Let's do it. I am uh, a slave to the Reclamation. I think the card is just fantastic. Although normally you want to get it earlier so you can kind of build your deck around it, but I don't think we have a bad start to a random Reclamation deck. Uh, Champion of Wits or a Temple of Abandon here. Champion's decent. Is that more important than fixing, perhaps? Maybe. Okay, I'll take the champion over the red green land. The stomping ground came back around, so maybe the temple can also come back around. What is this garbage? I guess Spectral Sailor with Wilderness Reclamation is good. Sure. Maybe that's something we can end up doing, too. All right, give it a shot. Time warp and a Kraken? What on earth? Oh, man. Time warp is so busted, but then again, so is Kraken, and I think I need a win con more. That's kind of brutal. Oh, God. I hate passing Time Warp in this cube, but I don't have a way to really abuse Time Warp, so I guess it makes sense to take the Kraken here instead. That's a Jace. Could be good. Oh, Ketria Triome is perfect. Yeesh. Uh, I think I have to go with the fixing here. It's just way too good. Damn. 
Prismari Command, Behold, Disallow, Regrowth, Fading Open. Another really good pack. Prismari Command's been nuts, though. Every time I play with the card. Way too good. Okay, so like some teamerish control. I'm probably going to cut the Golos, right? Golos doesn't look like it makes the cut here. Uh, we don't get any of these other lands. We get a Lier. Damn, Lier would have been really good with the time warp. Is that better than Rootbound Crag? I mean, I don't have that many instants and sorceries, but I probably have enough. Okay, good enough. Wish I had taken a little bit more burn now for the Lier, but... I guess Lier is also really good with Reclamation, too. Yeah, that's gonna be fine. Insult to Injury on the wheel. Don't think we want that. But I guess Paradise Druid's probably not gonna be played here, is it? I don't think any of those cards we're, we're gonna play. All right, Temple of Abandoned should be coming back soon-ish. As we get Torolf's Disciple back, we might be able to run that just for some value. Turn our deck into a bunch of bolts. Okay, there's the Temple. Good, good, good. As expected. I think I might actually cut the Stowaway. Super late Watery Grave. Haven, Kyora. Don't think either of those make the deck, and I don't think we're splashing the Ojatai's command. Not to brag, Kyora's like some weird ramp, but not good enough. Oh, Slendy Vision was good, though. We'll play that one. And Fading Hope was really good. Oh, okay. Some nice last few pickups there. I guess the question is do I want to like splash that primal command awkwardly? Because double green's a little bit hard. But, um,. Being able to go find Holebreaker Horror or Lier seems really good to me. Need to cut two cards here. I don't think the Sailor really fits. I mean, I don't think Torof's Disciple especially fits, but we're going to give it a shot. 14 instants and sorceries for Augur. Maybe the Cosmos Elixir is also just a cut. Like I said, I've never been particularly impressed by this card. Yeah, I think we're going to go something like this. A little Teamer Bant Flash. <laughs> Bant. Teamer Flash. We need a lot of blue. 7, 8, 9, probably 10. And then we go... How many red sources here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Green sources. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So probably only need one forest and then just go up on one more mountain. Something like that. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, looks good enough to me. Glad I got that Holebreaker Horror. Sad I had to pass the time warp, but it doesn't look like a bad deck. Um, yeah. Thanks everybody for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying. Hopefully uh, you still get to play some magic in this awkward time. Um... Even paper event events are starting to come back a little bit, but I know the majority of people are still just focusing on uh, on online gameplay. Glad that arena opens are becoming more assistant, uh, not assistant, consistent. Um, but I would like to see some more limited ones, of course. <laughs> That'd be cool if they did like an arena open every month. I don't think that would be that hard for them. But yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, if you guys want to know another way that you can help support uh, my channel and growth, check out my sponsors. I mean, they're all listed, of course, in the top there before it cuts off. Um, have a bunch of TSM affiliated sponsors, but cardkingdom.com slash Numot if you ever want to pick up any magic cards. That's a great pay, uh, place, not only uh, if you live locally in the uh, northwest area, but uh, just going to cardkingdom.com slash Numot. And uh, ordering any magic cards there lets them know that uh, I'm doing a good job. Can't speak.
can't speak high, highly enough of Card Kingdom. If anybody's ever been there, they'll they'll know. Okay, we got our first match here, and we are on the play with a pretty nice looking hand. No blue land, but we do have a cold steel heart on blue that we can make, uh, and I will definitely take the map. So our game plan here is going to be turn two heart on blue. Hopefully go for... Yeah, I mean, I guess I don't need to go for Reclamation next turn. Could go map. Mm. Go map plus search for his Kanta. I think that's probably good. OP on that smoldering egg life. Alright, let's search for his Kanta first. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Let's go ahead and scry. Keep an island. I don't think I want to necessarily run out my, uh... Run out my, um command into a counter. I don't really care if they count, uh, counter my Augur of Bolas, though. Oh, did that auto-tap both my blue sources? Okay, sure. It, it always likes to leave open Blast Zone. I guess I actually manually tap there, but... Didn't do anything end of turn, huh? Okay. Uses Kanta. Don't need that. Um, don't need that land. Okay, if we draw one though. Four mana again. I guess I'm just gonna pass this time. Hold open Royal. Wait for them to do something. Alright, Behold. I'm gonna let the Behold resolve. And then I'm going to into the Royal their egg back their hand. While they're tapped. Oh! Okay. Uh, did not hold the priority there at end of turn like I should have. Whoopsies. Well, that's a mistake. I guess I put it on their upkeep instead of accidentally... Doing what I should have done, huh? That's fine, we can just level up the Blast Zone to two. Now, I do have four two-mana permanent, so it's not like blowing up this Blast Zone right now is great. But the map is going to flip here, the search event eventually flips, and the Augur is not that important, so... Prismari Command, dang it. Man, okay, this is really bad. Yeah, that one little mistake of not uh, having opened that into or casting that into the royal is going to cost me big. Brutal. That's so big. Man. If I had kicked into the Royal on, that, on their dragon that one turn, I don't think we can lose, even if they blow up our treasure map like that. Alright, I think I'm going to go for unkicked then right now. They have a counter, make them do it. Sure. That's fine. Right. 
Two, four, six, seven. Oh, this is so awkward. Oh, it... Shoot, I'm not paying attention to the auto-tapper. Holding up the wrong mana again. Let's float. Untap. We can still blow up their dragon by blast zoning on two. But I really want to flip my search for his canna first. So let's wait for that since it flips next turn. This is a strange play. Okay. I guess I just get to commit their dragon right now then. Alright, that's good. Oh, playing a little bit sloppy. Ugh. The opponent has a bunch of cards in their hand still. Okay. Mm. Magmatic Channeler, you got it. It's another two drop. Dragon's annoying. Oof. Alright, so let's... Actually... Yeah, we will... They have two cards left in their hand. I guess let's bin that. Transform the uh, the uh, Ascanta. Man, I almost want a memory here. Maybe it's better just to use the Ascanda to dig. I can... Two. I could actually blow up their Glory Bringer here too by leveling up the Blast Zone with the Wilderness Wreck combos. Um, what a stop. Okay, I guess let's... Let's go ahead and activate the Ascanda and look for something. Ah, that's good. Okay, so we can play land. Blow up the dragon. Go to end of turn. Uh, we don't actually need to float those. I probably want to blow up their channeler here. I think that's probably the safest thing to do. She's also going to blow up my egg. Uh, sorry, my heart. Man, I can't. Can't talk today. That's fine. All right. Clearing off the board seems good. And we're about to flip our clock pretty quickly since... Oh, wow. Wait, is that... Behold and Prismari Command is all they get? Okay, that's fine. As far as masteries are concerned, that could have been much worse. Oh, that's right, they can blow up my clock! Well, annoying. Let's let them behold. I don't think I have any, like, counters or anything I can find off of that, do I? Not for one mana, anyways. And they're gonna make a treasure. Sure. I wonder why... I guess that makes sense. Yikes, there goes my hole breaker.
I think we just keep activating as Kanta here, don't we? That's pretty good. It's pretty good too. Okay, yeah, I mean, we're doing fine. We're not the most comfortable amount of life, but... Oh, we know the exact order of our deck now? Oh my gosh, are you kidding? They just have fight for... <laughs> Alright, well... That game was lost because... of... the stop not being held when they uh, tapped out that one turn. And I didn't get to bounce their egg. If I had gotten to bounce their egg on that one turn, we're doing absolutely fine. But as a result of, and I mean, it's it's my fault. I didn't I didn't hold full control at the end of my turn when they cast whatever it was. Behold the multiverse. Um, it automatically went to their next turn, and so they had counter magic open. But yeah, if. If it goes correctly there, if they cast the Behold, then I bounce their egg at the, at the end of my turn. We save ourselves at least, what, six, eight damage? Okay, good beats. GG go next. We are on the play here again. Pretty good looking hand. Lundy Vision, a nice little blue source for me. This is a creature deck, fantastic. Art Evidence looks great here, so does the Augur of Bolas. Let's lead on Augur. Um, yeah, take the Spring to mind. Feels like that first match should have been a win. Chaos for one, sure. It's a land tapped. So options here, I could just play land pass, hold up supreme will. I could hard evidence crack the clue. I could spring. Spring gets me to four mana, five mana next turn. I think that's fine. We have Chandra, so I think getting double red makes sense since we already have another blue source in our hand anyways. So next turn I can go Evidence Pass, hold up any number of cards. Alright, they're gonna Apparition my Augur. Our Blast Zone on one blows up both of their Micaeus and their Bodyguard. Be a little bit surprised if they just sacrifice Micaeus to put two 1 1 counters on this turn. Oh, huh, okay. Color me surprised. Sure. So we'll go Crab Pass. I can look. Like, tuck their Apparition. I think I'm gonna do. Get back a 2-2 token, block the Bodyguard. <laughs> Alright, you got me. Uh, I'll go ahead and cash in the Crab for 3 life. Land pass. This time we're gonna Royal their Apparition. Kick it, draw a card, block the Bodyguard.
They have a ton of cards in their hand. They might not necessarily be mono white. Yeah, they might be missing a secondary color here. Ooh. Well, we're going to slam that one. That is a tough cookie. Yep, they were red. Given that they had Apparition in their hand, but that many other cards, felt like they were sitting on something for sure. Oh no, they're just gonna go face here? Okay. They're trying to aggro me out. Let's go ahead and kill the Disciple. Actually, I guess I can just pass here, can't I? Because they have the Apparition in their hand, so I don't really want to play out uh, Map or um, as Kanta. And this way we can either hold up Supreme Will for a counter or cast Mind, right? Yeah. Or a Brage, should that be necessary. Sure, they're just going to play out a Naked Apparition, that's okay. Nice, another green source unlocks Primal Command. Go ahead and uptick on them. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> I'm going to gain 7 life. And search for Kraken, I think. Ranger of Eos, yep. Omat and Dog. Well, I mean... Chandra's looking pretty good here again. It's fine. So I'll take two, go to twelve. End of turn, I'm gonna shoot the uh, selfless saver with the savior with the abrade, and then Chandra can minus to wipe the other two creatures. Then we can just like pass with Holebreaker Horror open if we want to. Seems fine, we'll just pass. And we have a lot of good uh, instants and sorceries in our graveyard for Lier, but I don't think the game's gonna come down to that. Either they're gonna have a, like, sword to deal with my whole breaker, or they're just gonna lose to it. Young Peasy. That does make elementals. Alright, flash out the Kraken. They have nothing. That's gonna be game over. Get 
All right, easy peasy. <laughs> the Chandra emblems are such daggers because they have to put the triggers on the stack. <laughs> uh. All right. Crack Daddy wins again. Ah, oh, that feels like I should be 2 0 right now. I'm not going to lie, though, my brain is currently fried. After that uh, arena open for me this morning. Um, yeah, I am. I am mentally exhausted, but the show must go on. Hopefully all been enjoying the arena cubes. We've got a little bit more time left uh, before Neon Dynasty, the new Kamigawa set comes out. I think it's about a month away, maybe a little bit less than a month away uh, as of this recording. Um, but that should be, that should spice and things up. Like, I think the arena cube's great. I think the vintage cube has been great. It's nice to, to get some fresh blood into the mix. I don't know if that's the right phrase. Anyway, uh, I have once again won the die roll because I'm fantastic. And once again, we have a pretty decent looking hand. Turn one crab, turn two search, go from there. Turn timber symbiosis from the opponent. Green creature based deck, probably. Green, white. Okay. I'll keep a temple. I'm going to play an untapped land here so we can start activating the treasure map immediately. Green, white has a lot of ways to kill my artifacts and enchantments, so hopefully we can flip these ASAP. I do want a counter. That looks great. Draw it. Once again, I'm going to play the untapped land now so we can hold open all of our abilities. We can Supreme Will plus activate map. Azri Ket. Do I even care about that thing? I guess I don't have a way to pressure it, but I have an Into the Royal in my hand. And I have a Blast Zone. So I think we just let that resolve. Doesn't really do anything. Not with any no creatures, anyways. I don't need land. We want to pump up the blast zone for one. I think we just draw a card. All right, upkeep. Let's map. Yeah, we'll keep that now. Oh, I, did I do this in the re reverse order? I did this in the reverse order. Whoops. Should I draw on first? No, no, this doesn't matter, I guess. Okay, now we have infinite manas. Uh, if I play untapped land, I can flash out Holebreaker, but I don't think we want to use the treasures like that. Go here, pass again. Only one card in my graveyard for search. Finale of Devastation for four. It seems good enough to counter. Don't want them getting like an Oracle or something, or a Rex Age, you know? It's three cards in our graveyard. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's pass. This is six to ultimate, so I don't have to worry about that right now. We're just going to cast out the Beanstalk Giant. Yeah, that's great for us. We're going to flash out the Kraken and just go to town. Beautiful.
Would not be surprised to see some kind of scoop here. All right, let's go ahead and draw extra card. Oof. Beauty. Beauty. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we can do it all if we want to. Yes, I want to. Put Tonic and non creature. Search for a creature. So let's put Basri on top. Bounce their giant. Go tutor our Lier. Actually, I guess I don't even need to play out the clock. Kind of a waste of my treasure to do so. That's fine. Unless they do multiple lands this turn. We should be okay, right? In fact, they only have one mana left open. No, I don't need to do this. I guess we'll just play around them having a random swords, even though I don't think they do. Because even if they have four tokens this turn, it's not that relevant. And it looks like they don't even have another land anyways. We want to keep the instant for Holebreaker Horror protection. That's definitely the safest. Oh. That actually just wins. Right. So we go shoot, shoot, shoot. Bounce the token. GG's. Oh, that game was not very close. <laughs> not close in the slightest. Holebreaker, Kraken, or whatever horror, still a good card, turns out. Hmm. Look at that instant match, too. Alright, we lost the die roll this time, but uh, still, again, another fantastic looking hand. A lot of tap lands here, but we can definitely make do. Ooh, yeah, the Reclamation, too. All right, we're going to lead on tap land since we don't need crab on one. Our deck almost looks like the old Wilderness Reclamation constructed decks. We're just missing, missing like, uh, expansion explosion type deals. Go heart on the blue. So we already have double red green. Palladium mirror. I don't love le ha letting them have ramp here. I think I'm going to kick the royal right, right now. Because I can't wilderness reclamation into kicking royal, so let's just buy a little bit of time to set up. Wouldn't be surprised if they just make the same play anyways. I should be getting my search and my map online soon, though. Alright, passing as a land, and the mirror. Um... Yeah, I guess the Reclamation doesn't do anything here. Yeah, I'm probably just supposed to dig. Let's play out our search, play out our map. Start looking for more interaction. We have a lot of mana this turn, so... Hopefully we don't fall too far behind.
Oh, another scoot swarm. Okay. Ah, oh, playing against a very similar deck to last time, it looks like. Green red instead of green white, but doing all the same stuff. Do I want that? No, I don't think so. Let's get let the Iscanta resolve. I do want that. So we'll draw that. Let's go ahead and Oh, you know what? We are going to be able to blow up all of their three mana. Okay, this this blast zone is going to be insane in a couple turns. Yeah. Let's go ahead and put some bolts in our deck. Make a crab and a clue. Land scry. That's probably worth keeping. Did it go? My Torolf's Disciple is going to get blown up, though. It's the only downside here. Oh. Aha, so they're going to mill me 10. Well, now we really need to get the Blast Zone online. Cause that, that sword gives pro green and pro blue, so... Can't block it with the crab this turn. Okay. So take three, mill ten. There goes my clock. They milled Lier, but not my... Uh, But not my Kraken. They went ahead and Lava Coiled my creature, too. Alright. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna Blast Zone on three here for sure. Transform. Let's tap. Scry. Flip. A lot of lands, sheesh. Alright. Uh, hold full control at end of turn. Oh man, am I gonna have to sacrifice all my clues? Did I do this wrong? Or maybe I didn't even have a choice. Yeah, I didn't have a choice, did I? All the scoot swarms and the sword go away. Okay. Nineteen cards left in deck. Two bottom ones are land. Timeless witness. Getting back their sword, perhaps? Well, they can't play it this turn. Or even if they can play it, they can't equip it. That's fine. This is a black creature, right? Yeah, okay. 
We'll go ahead and cycle this then. Sure. We're going to draw four, discard two. Two more lands. Float. Untap. Blue. One. Scanta. It's a lot of bolts. Two, four, six, two, four, six, seven, eight. I can nearly just burn them out here. Untap land wins. Yeah, an untap land wins. Sadly, Solemnity Vision doesn't work because Fight with Fire is not an instant, so I can't Reclamation float do at end of turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Don't want to trade off my 4-4. Four, 4-4 four. Four, four can also push lethal damage. Primal Command. Gain 7, okay. And they went and got a Gargaroth. Alright, so let's Slim Division end of turn. Pretty good. Let's just grab the counter. Not they gain 10, we're not lethal anymore, but what we can do is. Do, 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 do. Two, three, four, five, six. Chandra. Sorry, Krabby. Smash for four. Float. Float. Untap. Use his Kanta. Hit another counter. Beautiful. Alright. <laughs> They've had enough. <laughs> nice little control deck here. Teamer, re Teamer Reclamation, it brings back good memories. Gosh, the only loss I the only loss I have is the uh, the one where I probably shouldn't have lost. So fun deck on the draw. We keep drawing like all of the same kind of hands. If I draw hard evidence off the top, it's gonna be just you know. Same hands we've seen time and time again. Does it make sense to play heart on turn two? Does that do anything for me? No, not really. Feels like it's actually better to go turn two, search for his Kanta, turn three, treasure map. Oh. I lied. It's going to be better just to abrade that. The Liberator will kill all of those things if left unchecked. Paradise Druid land pass, okay. Could just start filling my deck with bolts. 
All right. Why not? I don't even know if this is the right play. It's probably not. I'm probably supposed to develop out my mana and whatnot, but yeah. It's okay. Sure. Let's go for search here, plus heart. I'm gonna name red on heart. Then next turn we can go spring plus map plus activate map. Probably good enough to keep. Let's go spring. Don't need another green. Given how many bolts we're putting in our deck, it does definitely make sense to get another mountain there, though. Oh, a reverse reclamation match. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's probably good enough. So I think I'm gonna scry main phase and then draw two. Maybe I should have kept that basic, because... Oh, sure. So I was going to say, maybe I should keep that basic so that I can uh, cast out the vision. Three cards. They can level up their incub... They might even just start hitting me for five damage. They don't have anything. Yeah, I like it. Why not smack in for five? Oh, sure. Spring, and then they Wilderness Reclamation untap, they get to draw two at end of turn. That's good. Oh. That's a keeper. So now we need our stuff to flip fast. Let's main phase this Salundi Vision. Add a couple of our bolts. Four cards in my yard. Now we can scry and flip. So once more, we're in a uh, position where we want to flip our search for his Kanta before we. It's annoying. Before we, uh... Pop the blast zones. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll go ahead and blast that. Oh, I can actually kill the uh, bubble snare if I... No, that doesn't make sense. Why did they hold up Incubation Druid? They must have another counter in their hand or something. I don't know. Okay, well that's really good too, huh? <laughs> that uh, makes my... Makes my search crit for his Kanta much less likely to actually flip, though. <laughs> okay. I don't think I'm blowing a blast zone anytime soon. Let's see if Lier resolves.
Oh man, that's gross. That's really gross. I think I'm going to kill the druid and take away three mana from them. Hydra on six. With two mana left floating? So what I could do here is bolt bolt the Hydra. But I also have Blast Zone on two. Blast Zone on two kills some of my stuff. Um... Yeah, looks like we're not gonna win this one. I'll just have to let it happen, I think. Interesting. Sure. Okay. My search for his Kanto die. I don't know if I can, but then how much damage am I taking if I do let it die? Tenish. Ooh, so bad. I think I have to flip my my Escanta. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Oh, they have a time walk that they drew. All right, GGs. Ah, uh, I got punished. I could have blown up their Hydra or whatever, but no, I still don't think that was in a good spot. What happened that game? It was that turn that I played Torox Disciple, I'm pretty sure that messed me up. I needed to have just developed out my search for his Kanta and my treasure map. Again, the, 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 the Disciple in the deck is not even anywhere close to my real game plan of sorts, right? I think I'm just supposed to develop out my, my mana and start looking for cards. That was... Probably not a good play. Good beats. Alright, on the play here. Hand's fine. Nothing special. Hopefully we can ramp up into an early Chandra. Versus Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Inquisition's Expert. You know what, I'm actually going to let you take my champion here. Get that in the graveyard for just immediate pseudo value of sorts. Go spring for another red source. Oh! Graveyard Eater! 
Actually, they have the Hive of the Eye, Eye Tyrant too, but that's kind of rude. That's really rude. I think I'm supposed to kind of jubate them here. Oh wait, I need to cast something, don't I? Otherwise, it, if I don't cast a spell, that Trespasser flips into a 4-4. Four, four. But you know what? Now that... Oh man, that Hive of the Eye Tyrant is also going to be a huge problem versus my uh, Chandra if they have another land here. That's fine. That's fine. All right, so we cross our fingers and hope that they do not have a land to animate the hive. Everyone knows the bigger explosions are more fun. Doesn't look like they do. Oh, it's a tap land. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, wait, can that have killed? No, that only kills creatures. Wow, that was huge. That's that's the difference in the game right there. Tap land versus not a tap land. Can't int the royal, the hive. Oh, can't even do that to it. No bolts in the deck, so we just have to take the three to the Chandra. But if that's their best play, that's great for us. Let's go ahead and take a look at something. Very nice. So we can grab the primal command here. Put the hive of the eye tyrant back on top of their deck. And go go tutor for a creature. Go get a, our hole breaker. All right. Oh, that tap land made all the difference, baby. What are we four and two? All right, not bad. Not bad at all. That's how we can, uh, or that's how I can solve the, the finding a match problem. If I just walk away while the recording's going, then I don't have to fill dead air. Isn't that perfect? Uh, so four and two. Lost. The first loss was avoidable. What was the second loss? Oh, probably avoidable somehow. Could have done a dungeon. That was the epiphany game, right? Yeah. All it was was a seven mana time walk in that game too. But they already had board pressure. The dang uh, the Hornet Queen wrecked me. All right, on the draw. Nothing to do on turn one or two really sucks. Crash through. 
Okay, that was a good draw. Crash through doesn't mean they're aggressive, necessarily. But I would venture to say that they probably are. Alright, they discarded a land. Yep, found two creatures. They only get to play one of them this turn, though. Red-white aggro, probably. Sure. So I think here we're going to just get our Champion of Wits online instead of treasure mapping. Okay, alright. Now we do start doing the upkeep scries. So we're gonna have to fight with fire that. Jesus, take eight. Don't need another island. Well, this might be a quick one. On the draw here too, right? Yeah, getting a lot of damage. Alright, good beats. Let's see. I can commit the Ferocidon, go to four. Die to basically anything. Might still be dead here. They might just have some extra burn. But if they just randomly play out like two extra creatures this turn instead of having any... Okay, they're gonna kill their own creature so it doesn't get committed. Bolt my face. Ah, and that gives them delirium? Is that what happened? Wait, what's the word? Oh, no, no. It's instant and sort. No, I didn't even get to look at the battlefield. Doesn't matter. We got wrecked. Uh, so, what did we learn? Be on the play and have more interaction, I guess? Good beats. Anyways, had some fun games there. Uh, little teamer reclamation deck. That was fun. I don't got anything else to say, so... Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you back next time. And uh, before you go, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe so you can become one of my tubers. Peace out.